get a job and start auditioning immediately for the next one and move around all the time. I, it was exciting for a little while, but I got tired of it really quickly. So that's when I started kind of thinking about teaching and um, I was not really ever interested in like secondary school. I did teach uh, in elementary and high school level programs for a while while I was in grad school to help pay for it, but I always wanted to do university work and I've been very happy doing that because I get to keep learning. Yeah. I love to create. I love art. I love music, films, and theater. The whole shebang. Time heals all wounds, but wounds come with time. I'm getting worse as I'm getting better. I've always loved working with my family, and we get along really good together. We're smaller, so we're not, fr and we're not fractured all over the place. When I say my family that's been part of this, it's really my sister and her husband and my dad and me and our kids and Adam. I'm feeling much better. It'll feel so odd to just pull the temple back for two measures and then ratchet it up again. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Let's, let's make it work and then we, um, later on we can always. It's just me and my sister and all her life she's been very ill and most of the time in a lot of pain. My youngest memories of her are her, you know, being ill or, or leaving. Why they, she'd go to the hospital, I didn't understand that at the time. So, I mean, I've just, I've always adored her. The fact that she, as a young sick person, cultivated everything she could do in her bed. She played the guitar, she drew, she's a great artist. She wrote songs, she, um, she read, she has huge love of literature. And so all of that just creates this wonderful character that you can't help but fall in love with. Oh, I plan to figure you out. I will unravel all your mysteries. My sweet Andromeda, I promise you I will always rescue you. <laughs> I will break your chains and fight your monsters. Give me. I'll be done a little sooner when we do that. I won't mess up. Um, what is right? What, what do you start saying? I promise you, I will always rescue you. Just slow that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Sure. We all are so crazy about my sister. Her story is very central to who all of us are, and so when Adam started to write this story about her, I mean, everybody just loves her so much. Whenever you're going to do something that's, that she's involved in, it's just like, wow. My aunt actually taught me how to play guitar when I was in high school. And she gave me my first guitar, a classical guitar. And my brother would actually send me these beautiful poems that he'd written. And I would put them to music. And we did a concert of all the songs that we had written together. And that was, that was really fun. And we had like a... I guess like a scratch vocal CD of that concert. And those are actually some of the songs that I would send to Joe, our arranger and orchestrator for after Zoe. Life is a circle in all that we do. So when you're far from me, my heart goes with you. There are a handful of songs that my brother and I did together, a handful of songs that I wrote in, in New York, just myself, and then a handful of songs that my aunt wrote. And I don't even know if any of that will make it, but we have it. Yep. So, thank you. Jen? 
Thank you very much. I think that's the last one. How do you feel like the students have reacted to it? Oh, they're so sweet. You know, when Adam, when Adam first said, when it first was announced that he was going to do this, immediately he got an email, you know, Courtney, do you need help? People just appeared, you know, and this is a very, very busy time for them, and yet we are fully staffed. going to have these four directors work with those those folks. So uh, Cleo, Savannah, Etan, and Christian, you've got more people to work with. He's been chair 25 years, whatever, whatever that adds up to. So yeah, and then, you know, he hired all the staff, you know, so he's assembled his, his favorite people, people that he loves and trusts and that he wants to work with. We are so thankful that Jeanette We definitely spend a whole heck of a lot of time together. So we get to know each other really well. And um, I just, I so, there's one of my good friends calling me. I um, thought I had that turned off. A, a, it's like continual renewal. Every year you get a new class. And you know, it's it's got that heartache to it because you grow up these kids and they're just these beautiful seniors. And then they fly off and, and in their place comes this little group of green freshmen and you go, oh man, we gotta start all over again. And then you just fall in love with them and then you see them through. And so, you know, the very act of being in education is constant renewal. And then um, theater, I mean, it's all about doing new and exciting things, doing things that have never been done before. I mean, how can you not get excited about that? That is a thrill to me. Every time we open a show, it's a thrill. love this place. Adam and I have spent all our entire adult lives here, you know, 35 years, and I have a huge love for the students and my fellow faculty, and just the way they all jumped on board with this, you know, it's just, it, it just makes sense. This is like my home, this is my family, and they're letting me do something that is about my real family. acting so formal. It's How not like it? this at all. When we workshopped it in New York last year, I orchestrated that for a slightly smaller ensemble. He and Seth are friends, and so... Yeah, I think I can safely say I'm friends with each one of you by now. <laughs> There's a little bit of pressure of hoping that people like it and hoping that people can soak it up and and also hoping that it, it clicks with them and that it stays with them, and the music especially I just got off the national tour of Sound and Music, and I think that's the challenge is um, hoping that this show stays with people the way that something as loved as Sound of Music does. Y'all were just so awesome, all of you. It was so great. It was such an incredible performance. And this pulling together, what y'all shared with me, you know, about your love story and um, inviting me here tonight. I can't wait to come back tomorrow night. I'm glad to see that you Thank are you. better <laughs> here tonight. That's yeah. great. <laughs> I'm curious as to what they think. It, you know, we're just, we're just artists too. We're just fellow artists and so we're always hungry for feedback and we want to make sure that this did mean something to them and I don't know. That's 
kind of thoughts that are going on in my head. <laughs> we want to praise you with this show. We want the people and the hearts that are here to get an understanding of what real love is. And I thank you so much for Martha. I ask you to bless her with this hard week. I ask you to give her peace and calm and help her to feel better. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. You guys have a wonderful last performance. We're at 7.23, so seven minutes. that are doing the show are professionals and there's such a consistency. That's one thing I really like watching them work. I've watched so many rehearsals. I never get tired of it. Very vulnerable is this is so precious to us wow you know you just don't want to just throw it out there for anybody and so we needed this kind of environment to nurture it and to walk with us through it and then that gives us the courage to put it out before an audience people that are buying tickets that may or may not know us and wanting to come see a good piece of theater and hoping that it stands on its own which I think it does so. <laughs> My sister's been, she's never, she's never been well. She's never been well. And all her life, you know, and it's been a long life, a longer life than she might have wanted it to be. But, you know, to remain faithful to what you've been given and to continue to choose to be loving and to look for beauty and, um, and give yourself over to people, that's really powerful. And so, uh, some of my favorite scenes are between Connie and Zoe, where maybe they're not even saying anything, but it's just them together, and it's just so obvious that there's such a deep love and connection with them. And then, and Mama too. I mean, this is these are three women that really love each other and draw strength from each other. And I just think that's neat.
It's not biographical. It's fiction, but it's true. That's one thing my sister said. You know, whenever you bear witness to a truth, even if it's a hard truth or an ugly truth, it's powerful. You sure you feel up to going out tonight? I'm going, Mama. Let me see the light in your eyes. Okay. I love you, sweetheart. I know, Mom. It feels great to be done and sad. <laughs> Are you trying to make me cry right now? We're done with We're crying. Done. Yeah. Also, fun, fun <laughs> fact. Of you know, families are so fractured often today. I mean, it's just to, to look in on a functional family that have people that love each other and have each other's best interests at heart, that are stable and faithful to each other. Um, it's, it's getting rarer and rarer, and I think whenever you can give people a glimpse of a family um, like Zoe's family, and just remind them that that, I mean, that is possible. It is possible. But one thing I've always loved about theater, it's a cooperative art. You cannot do it by yourself. We have to work with everybody. We need each other. You just realize we are we're in the boat together, and we can't we can't start um, <laughs> pushing people out of the boat. I mean, we all all of us are needed, and um, I don't know how many people get to do this. It's awesome. <laughs>